What's up Guardians? Rafane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Now that the Whisper Exotic Mission has returned into Destiny, players will be able to get the new, replicated version of the Thousand Wings Exotic Ship. This new variant, called Carve of the Worm, will be available to all players, but to obtain it, you'll have to dive deep into the bowels of the Whisper and locate seven different hidden oracles. With it currently being week one of the Whisper's return, we only have two of these oracles that can be knocked off of that list, with the remaining five coming next week and then the week after. Not only will you need these oracles for the exotic ship, but you will also need to destroy them to acquire the different catalyst upgrades for the Whisper of the Worm. Even though the remaining oracles cannot be obtained yet, we do have details on their whereabouts because even though they're not active, we are able to still target onto their location because of some weird interaction with our weapons targeting systems that causes our weapons to become magnetized to their position. So with that said, we'll be looking at both of the current available oracles along with the five that are not available yet. And we also found something else that's towards the end of this mission that might be important later. The first oracle is located when you first enter into the anomaly. In the first corridor, turn left and look into the corner. You'll find the first oracle hovering over a pile of Vex body parts, and that's actually how all of them are. The second oracle is found just after the elevator sequence in the first jumping puzzle. Pass by the exit and you'll find a hidden pathway alongside the wall. You'll discover a room with an oracle chilling in the corner. Our next oracle is going to be in the sniper alley. At the end of this area, you have to jump into a tiny hole that's in the wall. But before you do, turn around and shoot the conflux that's behind the pillar. This will activate a floor plate that will hold the third oracle. And we can clearly tell this because our targeting gets sucked right into its field and our crosshair colors change to red. The next oracle location is hidden underneath the big white room. You'll have to jump down where the taken thrall spawn in, and towards the back of the room you'll find a small pathway that leads into a new room. And just like the other location, we get magnetism when moving our crosshairs around the center of the room, so this will be the location of the fourth oracle. The fifth oracle will be located at the top of the big white room after you've cleared the jumping puzzle. You'll find the oracle along with a conflux in the small crack in the wall. The next oracle can be found after dropping down the hole. Instead of going along the path that leads to the enemies, we're going to be cutting right and heading over to the unused Vex portal. And behind this Vex portal is another one of those invisible markers that makes our crosshairs go wonky. It's worth noting that the original Whisper mission required you to shoot a series of actual oracles right here at this portal, so that could be something that gets tied into this one. The last oracle location will be found just before taking the big jump. Just below the ledge, to the left, is a small corridor that leads into a room 
and inside this room we have yet another invisible marker indicating the location of our next and final oracle. So that should be all seven of the required hidden oracles to be able to get the carve of the worm. But like I said earlier, we also have one other discovery that could become important later on. After you've cleared through the first couple of rooms, you'll have the drop down that leads you into the boss arena. But if you turn around and follow along the pathway, you'll find another little room that's tucked away into the wall. Now this doesn't seem to attract any crosshairs, but it could be something that comes into play in week two or three. Maybe not an oracle, but something else. Or it could just as easily be nothing at all, but something to keep an eye out for. But for now, we've got all seven of the hidden oracle locations covered, so that when they are all available, you'll be able to easily come in and knock them out and get your mother flipping carve of the worm. And with that said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout this season. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.